What's up, Phoenixes? So do you really think that binge eating is just all about the food? In this video, I'm gonna talk about why scarcity mindset is screwing up everything. And it's such an innate part of our brains. So let's get to it, let's get through it, let's go. And be sure to stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you my ninja strategy for allowing myself to stay in an energy of an abundance on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's get real. If you're ready to end the battle you have with food and your body and that whole craziness, be sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I release these videos for you every single Thursday to help you repair the relationship you have to food in your body. Cause I know firsthand how much of a disaster pants that is when we are constantly trying to fight food and fight our bodies every single day. So if you want to end the battle, be sure to subscribe right away. My name is Samantha. I'm the founder of Hungry for Happiness and I've literally helped thousands of people with this issue and I'm super stoked that you're here and I can support you as well. All right, so let's get to it. Scarcity mindset. We operate from scarcity mindset constantly, unconsciously. We live in a world that is so rooted in scarcity and perfectionism when really the reality of it is we can choose abundance, but we have so much conditioning about how there's never enough and there's a lack. And so we're operating from lack constantly. And so when we operate from a place of lack, what are we going to get? What are we going to project out? What are we going to reflect into the world? More of that, more lack. And so ask yourself, do you say things like there's never enough? It's too expensive. I can't afford that. It's not good enough. Blah, blah, blah. Do you operate from a place? of lack. Ask yourself yes or no. Write that in the comments below. Yes or no. Do you operate from a place of lack? Because if you do, you're just going to reflect that into the world. And what I want you to get really clear and really understand is so many of the beliefs you have around scarcity and the reason why you have a scarcity mindset, of course, isn't because that's your truth, but it's how you were brought up. Like check out your parents and your friends and your grandparents. What's their conditioning around money? What's their conditioning around abundance versus scarcity? Check into that. A lot of that is parental conditioning, society conditioning, conditioning from your friends. Check out your friend group. If your friends are always coming from a place of lack and limitation, guess what? You are probably doing that as well. So get around people who have an abundant mindset and know that there is an overflow that this planet is delivering in the form of abundance. There's an overflow of everything is available to us. Everything is available to us. So check in with your beliefs around that. Ask yourself if you have that last supper mentality, that feast or famine, right? That's what really drives us into the binge diet cycle. I want you to check in with yourself and ask yourself, when you're eating, do you get fearful of like, okay, I gotta eat everything because I'm not sure when my next meal is coming? Be honest with me and ask yourself, is that the case? And if it is, again, let me know. Say, yes, Sam, I operate under the last supper mentality. Ask yourself if that's true, because that's like a really real thing. And that is a part of our brains. It's that feast and famine. And you know, we, we look at that now as diet binge, diet binge cycle. If that's what you're operating under, that is scarcity. That is scarcity. And that's what drives us into so many of these behaviors. Another thing is, is when desire becomes addiction. Ask yourself, are your desires addictive? You know, especially with food, is it something that you're desiring and you're using it to enhance an experience? Or are you just addicted to that substance or that food? And really be honest, honest with yourself about this. In a second here, I'm gonna teach you and show you my ninja trick, my ninja strategy for overcoming scarcity mindset, which I promise you I went on this journey. I totally get it. I used to live in a state of scarcity constantly, which is what developed my battle with food, my battle with money, everything. And so I'm gonna teach you exactly how I overcame that. But before I do that, I want you you to join the five day food freedom challenge where I'm going to walk you through step by step by step, help you end the battle you have with food in your body. I'm going to give you meditations. I'm going to give you video modules. I'm going to really support you to be able to end the battle with foods. So if you're into that, click the link below, get your bump in the door. And I want to be there to support you on the other side. All right. So ninja strategy, adapting an abundant mindset. Ask yourself, how can I choose abundance today? Abundance is a choice. Our brains are not wired for abundance. They're wired for scarcity because they're trying to keep us safe. But ask yourself, if I was to believe that there was enough, what would that feel like? What does abundance feel like in my body? How can I circulate abundance? How can I choose abundance? When I'm eating, how can I just have enough? What does enoughness look like in my life? Like understanding that I have enough money. I have enough food. I have enough 
love. I have enough whatever. When we are operating from a place of abundance, we just attract more abundance to us. But again, when we're operating from that place of lack, we're just gonna recreate more of that to us. So check in with yourself and ask yourself, what can I do today to change my relationship to abundance? So if you liked this video and you found this video to be useful for you and there is something that you took away from it that you're like, yes, I'm gonna implement that, give me a like, let me know. If you are really wanting to end the battle, be sure you subscribe. I drop these videos for you guys every single Thursday. My goal here is really to create a community around this issue. So many of us struggle with binge eating and it's hard to really find support in a community to really empower us to move through this. Here's the thing, at the end of the day, everyone has the ability to end the battle with food. And it's not about consumption, it's not about learning more about this, it's about integration, really feeling into these things, really understanding how the body works, understanding the difference between an emotional hunger cue and a physical hunger cue, really getting to the core of like, what is it that we're actually hungry for? What is this need, this emotional need inside of me that I'm trying to fulfill with food? How do I identify it? What, what is it? And how do I heal that at a, at a core level so that I can just use food for health and hunger as it was intended? So I'm super, super happy you're here. I'm so, so, so grateful. And we will see you next Thursday for another video. Bye for now.